Hello all, this is Halloween, and if you love Halloween and dressing up as much as I do, you may want to subscribe because I'm going to be showing you how to make some awesome costumes and create some awesome looks without breaking the bank, maybe even using some items you already have at home. In today's episode, we will be recreating Cinderella from Walt Disney's animated classic, Cinderella. Let's get started. Here we have Cinderella. Now I spent a good amount of money on this costume simply because I don't really like the cheap sort of factory design Halloween costume. I found this by going on Amazon and looking up baby blue ball gowns and it is stunning. I mean, even when it came in, I was happy with it. Like I said, it costs it cost money. It was about $119, but it's a beautiful gown. Now, originally, I was going to add on the tulip waistline, but I decided to leave it as is just because it's, it's such a beautiful dress and it's not necessarily needed. As I was combing through the different pictures and different depictions of Cinderella, I did find a version of Cinderella that had a dress like this. So it's just going to kind of be a hybrid of both the Disney classic and this other Cinderella that had a neckline just like this with the butterflies and everything. But I think it's going to work out perfect. On Amazon, they had a package where you could get the gloves, the choker, and the headband. And so I went ahead and got that. The shoes are Ellie. I've got Glass slippers from Ellie, <laughs> and then some of my grandmother's jewelry here. Well, this is my grandmother's, and these earrings I got for $3.99 at a consignment shop. But um, I thought this was really pretty with the blue. That was my, my grandmother's or my great-grandmother's, one or the other. Because we're going to be magical, I got my magical flesh tone fishnets with sparkles. I think it will work great. And then, of course, a hoop slip. You're gonna want it to look like a ball gown. I'm using my own hair. That's why my mannequin is bald. I'll be using and styling my own hair. And uh, let's go ahead and get started with our makeup. It's makeup time, and we're going to be getting into our Cinderella makeup. Now, this makeup is just simple makeup. It's really however you wanna do it. This whole episode is more get ready with me, let's become Cinderella sort of thing. It's just for fun because I bought the costume. I put my foundation and did my... The thing is, I don't have a lot of space in my house. I have My house was built in the 1950s and it's small. Like we have additions that were added on, but the bathroom is literally so small that I can't even put my hands above my head to do my hair. So I did my hair off camera and everything because there's no room and it's like the only place in this house that has lighting so I did a cute little kind of French twist I rolled I rolled my hair on sponge curlers overnight I just dampened it and put it on sponge curlers just in the front to get this sort of coiffed bouffant that she has going on and uh, just back combed it and kind of combed it back until it looked nice and pinned it with bobby pins. I did a very simple French twist in the back. So that's how I did my hair. And I've already applied my foundation, done my eyebrows, and I bought these awesome contact lenses that just look dreamy and Cinderella-like. So I'm probably going to be wearing these for quite a few more costumes. Anything where I need to look cartoony or you know, stuff like that, these will come in handy. Now, I know my costumes lately have seemed simpler, and they are. And they are, because I've got a full-time job, and I'm trying to still balance this channel, and there's gonna be more to come as far as getting into more of the effects makeup and stuff like that this year. It's just, this is what I have right now, so I'm putting it out for you. This is gonna be a video about, you know, where to get your stuff. Um, if you like the Cinderella look that I have today, I purchased the whole ensemble off of Amazon. And But I did the shopping for you. So I don't typically like the 
store-bought manufactured Cinderella dress. I think it looks kind of cheap and well, Cinderella was Cinderella. I mean, her fairy godmother is not gonna make her look like Party City. You know what I'm saying? So I spent money on the dress. This gorgeous dress that I bought, I bought on Amazon for $119. And then I bought the shoes by Ellie. And I will put in the description below what I paid for the whole ensemble. But for me to put this look together, I think it's gonna be worth it because it's gonna turn out beautiful. Now I was gonna add the tulips to the sides of the dress and make that part of the video, but I decided not to because I didn't wanna ruin the dress and the integrity of the dress by adding anything onto it. I think it's beautiful just the way it is and I think it'll work perfectly for Cinderella. Like I said, I've just done foundation and my eyebrows, put my contacts in and what I'm gonna do for Cinderella, you want to kind of keep it a little simple because she's very, like, innocent looking. Very childlike, you know, princessy. I don't know, just innocent looking to me. So we're going to do like a pinky blush. I'm going to do a little bit of a cat eye, not too dramatic. And I'm going to put fake lashes on, of course. And that's what we're going to do. Now, I know you're probably thinking... Gosh, you really spend a lot of money on your costumes for it to be, you know, like I say in the beginning, without breaking the bank. But certain ones, once you buy all of your, you know, if you do happen to find a baby blue ball gown in a thrift store, it's going to be a hard find. It isn't cheap anymore. <laughs> and if you have to build onto it using any other pieces from any other articles of clothing, it's gonna be time consuming. And if you have to purchase these other items, then I mean, you're gonna end up spending more than $119 for sure. So this is going to be the more economic route. Um, unless, like I said, by chance happening, you find a baby blue ball gown in a thrift store. But let me tell you something, these girls going to prom, they are not wearing ball gowns anymore. They're wearing mini skirts, like, <laughs> It's just not what it used to be. Back in the 90s, when I was going to prom and stuff, we were still wearing ball gowns. Like, it had like the corset top, but it would be full on the bottom. And I think they still sell those, like in department stores and stuff, but if you look at anybody's prom pictures, they're, they're all going for the mini skirts now, the tighter. You know, the strapless, tight little dresses with maybe some sequins on it. It's not what it used to be. So finding a ball gown these days is, is a little harder to do. I remember when I saw Cinderella for the first time. I saw it with my Mima, And she was going to come get me that evening at the house and take me to see Cinderella in the theater. And that same night, my beloved hamster, Smoochie, died. He had this little cup. It was like a a tulip shaped cup that he loved to go down and play in. So I put it in his cage and the little thing got so fat that he got himself stuck in there and couldn't get out and died in the in the cup. So it was pretty devastating. Uh, Meemaw came and picked me up and we went and saw Cinderella and uh, but that was the night I saw Cinderella. I was going through some stuff. I think the worst part is that even as a kid, <laughs> like I felt like I was to blame because I put the cup in there because he liked it. I wasn't thinking about, as a kid, I wasn't thinking about like, what if he gets too fat and he can't get out? Because it wasn't a big cup, you know, he didn't have a lot of room to move around in there. So that's devastating. He, he like pretty much died of suffocation in there, couldn't get out. Can you imagine the horror? this little hamster was feeling because he couldn't get out. Beautiful. So, it's getting harder and harder, needless to say, to find costumes at an affordable price because even Goodwill's gotten expensive. Like, if you go there and just get a shirt, it's like seven bucks. And they have the little deals, like, orange tag day 50% off and stuff like that but nothing I ever need is ever on sale it's like 
Orange is the color and everything that I have is like either a purple or blue tag. You know, so I'm like, I can't seem to go on the right days. <laughs> I might have to figure out a system for that. That might be the best thing to do because it's getting real expensive. One done. I'm going to go ahead and finish this, this one up and get my other one on. My other cat eye, that is. And I'll see you in a minute. I got my other cat eye on. I put my lashes on. Like I said, this is a simple look. You really don't, I mean, it's not really tutorial worthy, I think, but <laughs> you're going to do your makeup however you want to do it, whatever makes you feel like Cinderella. I think that that's what's going to make it the most authentic is making it you. If you are going to be Cinderella and you do want to spend a little bit more, like I said, it's not even going to be that big of a difference. If you want to, I'll put in the description down below what the store-bought costume would cost you with all of the accessories and everything. Just so you can compare. It's not a huge difference. Uh, but I would suggest going this route, like if you're going to do it, because it's just beautiful. A lot of times, and I've even done it myself, you'll buy things online. I've started looking at the reviews lately because I'm, I'm not going to fall for it again. But you'll buy things online and it won't look anything like what the picture looks like. And this looks like the picture and more. And for the price, I think it's, it's worthy of that price. I am gonna wear a hoop slip with it, which I already had. I'm putting on some pink lipstick. Oh, I forgot to do my blush. I'll do that in a minute. Oh, another thing. I found this hack online. You know I always have problems putting on my eyelashes? So if you put the eyelash glue on your, on your eyelashes, <laughs> rather than putting it on the fake track, if you put it on your eyelashes and let it get tacky, and then just kind of lay it on top it's amazing it works great and i was like wow this is wonderful maybe i can even start doing my eyelashes on camera now <laughs> i didn't i went off camera to do them but still i was like i gotta tell them about that when i went to my senior prom i went as true barrymore and ever after that was my senior prom dress or look or whatever <laughs> So I'm kind of a fan of Cinderella. I would say she's actually probably my favorite Disney princess. So this is very nostalgic for me. Who's your favorite Disney princess? Is there any princesses you'd like to see me do? Comment down below. My cat's trying to get out the door. He can't decide if he's coming or going, but I'm sure that's everybody's cat. I'm gonna put on a little blush and then we're gonna be done. We're gonna get dressed. I got a little surprise for you and the photos. I hope you like it. <laughs> I thought, you know, I'm not really doing much on this to show you anything new. You know, I'm sure you know how to put makeup on, but um, I just wanted to share with you that like the items that I found and you know, everything that I used to create this look more so than showing you how to put your makeup on. <laughs> like. If you've watched any of my videos, I mean, we've done makeup similar to this. I do my makeup similar to this every day. So it's not really all about the makeup. It's just more about sharing, sharing with you about my love of Cinderella and the history, my history of my experience with seeing Cinderella for the first time. And I just want you to know that I'm so grateful for your support and I'm so blessed to have all of you that are following me. It's a lot of work and sometimes I'm not motivated to do it. <laughs> to be honest with you, it's it's a really a lot of work. And the fact that you have taken the time to support me and subscribe and comment, it means a lot. So um, that's the look, pretty stunning. Let's go ahead and get dressed. All dressed up and ready for photos. This dress is just so beautiful. Like I kind of don't want to take it off, I want to be a princess for the day. <laughs> Here are the photos. Enjoy.
Thank you so much for joining me again today. I hope you loved today's Disney princess look, Cinderella. I think it turned out beautiful. I used my own hair because she was kind of a strawberry blonde anyway. She really wasn't very, very blonde. So the hair turned out great. The dress is gorgeous. I will put in the description down below the exact description of the dress that I bought on Amazon, the price and all of that, and also everything else that I bought. The choker, the headband and the gloves all came in a package together, which was great. And of course the shoes were Ellie. Now, if you're looking for a group costume, let's say you and your girlfriends are going out, you can all be Disney princesses. If you're looking to do one for you and your husband, you can be Cinderella and the prince. You know, there's all kinds of ways you can go doing Disney. I have a whole Disney playlist on my channel if you want to check that out. And until we meet again, I'll see you next time.